What's up guys, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using player particles. Player Particles is a simple plugin for displaying customizable particles around players that you could include as perks and the likes for your VIP players. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, select the Spigot tab and search for Player Particles. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. This plugin does not require other plugins to work, although you can add permissions to users, roles, and groups using permission managing plugins, allowing them access to certain effects, styles, or presets. There is a wiki, so if you need any more information on anything, it's likely already documented. The main way you'll be using this plugin is by using slash pp, which brings up the plugin's user interface. Basically, there are three parts to these particles. Number one, the effects. These determine what it looks like. Number two, the style. This determines the shape and where they'll spawn. And number three, the data, which is used to modify the appearance of the effects, though not all effects accept data like color, block material, and item materials. As with everything else in this plugin, if you get lost, there is a wiki to help. I'll demonstrate how this plugin works by doing slash pp to bring up the GUI. Clicking the blaze powder takes us to the manage your particles screen. Here you'll see all your available particles and be able to create new ones. I'll click the book to create a new one now. Here's where the three parts I mentioned earlier come in. First, we pick an effect. Second, we choose the particle style and where it appears. And third, if your chosen effect allows data, you can choose color, material, etc. After you've picked your combination under the Manage Your Particles screen, you can see a list of every particle combination you've created thus far. You can click on them later to change the effect, style, and data. Clicking the arrow at the bottom right takes you back a page. Closing the menu, you can see the effects I currently have on. We can choose to save one or more effects into a group so we can toggle them all on and off later. Of course, we can also remove them by going to slash pp, then manage, and shift-clicking on the ones we want to delete. Going back, we can hit the chest to manage our groups. Clicking the book saves every effect we have on currently into a new group. When you click it, it'll ask you to type a name in chat and hit enter. I've created a second group with different effects. By using slash pp, going to the group screen, I can toggle between them. To turn off all the effects, I can use slash pp, go to the particles screen and click the reset button. The ender chest on the main menu screen are presets that you can change in the configuration. Let's locate the config in the plugins folder. Config.yml lets us change general settings for the plugin, such as locale, which changes the language of the plugin for end users. We can find what languages are supported by checking the locale folder. And of course, whether the GUI makes sound or not, by changing GUI button sound to true or false. Of course, there are tons of other options we can change and it would take forever to go through each one. Luckily, each setting has information above it on what it does and what we can set it to. In presetgroups.yml, we have the particle presets we saw earlier in the load a preset group page that we got to by clicking the ender chest. Here, you can add, remove and modify effect groups that you can later give to players. To allow individual players or groups access to particle effects, preset groups and the like, you'll need a permissions plugin where you can allow them access to these permission nodes detailed on the player particles wiki. It's a fun little plugin with lots of potential if you put some time into it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you're having issues with anything, don't be afraid to contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.